In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install the Atomist software in two ways. The first approach is to use the Anaconda Package Manager to do the installation. But before you can use the Anaconda Package Manager, you need to install it. And I have a video that shows you how to install the Anaconda Package Manager in a Linux environment. And link is in the description box below. So after you are done with the installation of the Anaconda Package Manager, you first need to add channels. So you add the channels by issuing this command. You add two channels. So first one is the conda forge. So we say conda config add channel. And then we add the first one, which is conda forge. The next channel is the bioconda. So we say conda config add bio add channel by your conda after we are done with that it's now time to create an environment and install the atomist so we we'll do that with just a single line so we create the environment by saying conda create minus n then the environment will use atomist so after we are done with this command then we add the other which is the Atomist software itself. And so what we do is that we are creating this environment and in the process of creating, we also install Atomist as well. So now we proceed and we hit the enter key. So Anaconda will now start collecting the package and then also install all other dependencies for you. So you have to confirm. But one thing about Anaconda is that, as I said, if it's installing a package, it tries to install the dependencies. Atomist needs Java to run. So Conda also installs that automatically for you. So let's hit the Y to confirm the installation. Then we hit Enter. Okay, so now it quickly installs everything for you as well. So now that we are done with the installation, what we need to do to run Artemis is to first activate the Conda environment. And you do that using this command. Let's clear the screen first. So we say Conda activate Artemis. So this will activate Artemis for us. Okay, so after we are done with this, it's now time to run Artemis. So we do that by issuing one of these commands. You can see ART. Then once you hit the button, it shows it for you. So this is how it's going to display Atomist for you. So now you can just enlarge it and you can start exploring your data. The second approach is to install using the binary files. So with the binary files, you don't install per se, but you just download it and you run. Please note that in order to run the binary files, you also need to make sure you have Java installed on your system as well. Okay, so now to download the binary files, we go to the download page. So that's where we'll go now. So this is the download page for Artemis. I will also leave the link in the description box so that you can quickly visit the link if you want to use the binary file. So on that page, you scroll down until you get to this section. Okay, so these are the binary files available for you to download. So depend on your operating system, then you select the appropriate one. I am using a Linux system, so I'll select the Unix one. So I'll click on it. And then I'll be asked to download it and then I'll save it. So for this tutorial, I'm going to save it on my desktop. So let's save it. So download will proceed. Then we wait for it to complete. So download is now complete. So we'll check where it was saved to. 
I save it on my desktop. So this is how it's going to look like. You should know that whatever you download is a compressed format. So we need to extract it first. So I'll go to my terminal and then I'll cd to where I downloaded it. It was on my desktop. So I'll just cd to desktop. When I do an ls, you'll find a file there. So we extract it and in Linux and Unix is how we extract it. So extraction is not successful. Let's clear the screen first. So if we do an ls again, you find that a directory has been created. Okay, this contains the binary files that we run. Again, I repeat, in order to run the binary files, you need to make sure you have Java installed. Okay, so we can cd it to that directory. And when you do an ls, you find the binary files there. So you can open any of them. So for this one, we are going to open this particular one as an example. So we say dot slash ART. And after we are done with that, so to open it for us successfully if everything is okay. So you can enlarge it and then use that to explore your data. I have a video that shows you how to visualize genomes using DNA plotter, which is part of the Artemis package. So you can watch that to get a first hand experience on how to use Artemis. So this is how I bring my tutorial to an end and I'll see you in the next section. Goodbye.